Welcome, everybody. This is Carl Ravitch here at our Baseball Tonight studios as we get you set for a little exhibition baseball here on ESPN. Coming up, we've got the Chicago Cubs taking on the Montreal Expos. Here's a look at tonight's starting pitchers. Mark Pryor will go for the Cubs in this one. And flat out, Pryor's been as good a pitcher as there's been in baseball the last year and a half. He finished right in the thick of the Cy Young race last year, going 18-6 and six, with a remarkable ERA of 243. Levon Hernandez will also get the call as he will pitch for Montreal. They are just about ready to get things started up at Olympic Stadium. Let's join our ESPN broadcast team, John Miller and Rex Hudler, north of the border. Ellis. Okay, Carl, ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, welcomes you indoors to Olympic Stadium here in Montreal with another edition of Major League Baseball action. Tonight, it's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Montreal Expos. Hello, everyone. This is John Miller along with my colleague and former major leaguer, Rex Hudler. And Rex, as the Expos take the field, what are the keys for the Expos? Well, this is a team that's pretty well geared toward playing in this dome. So I think you've got to give them a slight edge in this one. They're familiar with the way the ball skips on this artificial turf, which may sound like a small advantage, but it's really an advantage nonetheless. Okay, Hud, we'll see if you're right. Now, the umpire is ready to go. He shouts play ball. It's time for baseball. We're glad to have you with us here on ESPN. Rodzalana is just about set to go now as we await the first pitch. First pitch, here it comes. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Chavez is in his tracks as he puts this one away. Swing and a line drive. And this one will go to the wall, and he may be running a while. And that one is going to rattle up against the wall. Well, this is a pretty good pitch to hit, and he gets good wood on this one. Now he's in scoring position with one out. Boise, Alou. This one's hit pretty well to deep left center field. And it is off the wall in left center. And that is in there, and that will score a run. Well, he finds it. At the plate, Sammy Sosa. First pitch on the way. Sosa is at the plate now, and he takes ball one. And there's ball two. Here's the 2-0 pick. There's ball three. Boring. And that misses as well, and it's a four-pitch walk. Ramirez. There's a swing and a high drive deep down the line and right. And it's off the right field wall. And they're not able to get to this one. It is in there. Well, the move to... Coming to bat, Derek Lee. You won't get a ring here, Lee. Fastball runs inside. 1-0. Oh. Missed again. Ball two. Nowhere to put him. Got to come in now. He's ready. The 2-0 and pitch. This one swung on and hit on a line, and he can't run it down. And this one bounces up against the wall. Well, he gets a pitch. At the plate. Corey Patterson. This one's blasted high and deep to center field. Way back there. Gone a home run. And Huddy, if ever there was a way to take the crowd out of the game, this is the way. Push some runs across before the home team even gets back to its own dugout. Yeah, this is all about establishing the tone of the game. Heck, and these guys really have come out aggressively in this one. Barrett will step in now to take his first hacks of the game. Now a swing and a ball hit foul.
swing and a soft liner back to the mound. Cordero. Fryer. He hits it a mile high into foul territory near the right field line. Everett is there now, and he puts it away to retire the side. The Chicago Cubs go on a rampage here and have really opened up this ball game. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one. The Cubs lead it six to nothing. Chavez will settle in now to lead off the home half. First pitch is a fastball in there for a strike. The 0 1 pitch is a fastball for a called strike. And this pitch is in there for a called third strike. Well, he gives him the old good morning, good afternoon, and good night. That was too easy. Cabrera is ready to get his first look at him right here. First pitch is a curve in there. It's 0 1. That's a real tight rotation on that one. And that's right down the middle. 0 and 2 now. Fastball in there. He struck him out for out number two. Well, he makes quick work of him here. Three pitches. See ya. First pitch to him. First pitch, a slider in there. 0 and 1. And when guys are spotting their pitches out there, there ain't a whole lot you can do. And he looks at one in there for a strike. Nothing in two. Struck him out as well. So he has struck out the side in order. Yeah, really settling in now. Nothing doing here this half inning. We'll go to the top of this Tucker. Here's a swing and a liner into left center. This one's in there, and let's see how far he'll push it. Well, there's a now batting. Alex Gonzalez. This one is hit high in the air towards right center. Chavez is there, and he puts it away for out number one. The center fielder has the ring. Coming to bat. Moise Alou. This one gets away from the catcher, and it could bring home a run. Well, he just can't come up with this thing. That's going to go as a pass ball. And that catches the outer half for a strike. Well, he just put his whole body into that one. Nice velocity. The 1-1 pitch on the way. Slider too far inside, and that'll back him up a bit. There's a towering fly ball hit to deep left center. Chavez is going to get there, and he makes the catch out. At the plate. Sammy Sosa. This one swung on and fouled away. Swinging the ball hit high in the air, deep right center field to the track, to the wall, gone, a home run. Well, that's about as fun as it gets if you're a fan. Seeing slamming Sammy lock in on a pitch and then kapow. He is the very definition of a power hitter. Ramirez will come up. Aramis Ramirez. And he sends this one in the air towards center. Chavez is there, and that'll do it for this half of the inning. And that's about as easy as it gets for a center fielder. The Chicago Cubs add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. Now we'll move on to the bottom of the second. The Cubs on top. Fastball in there, and it's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch is a slider in for a called strike. Curveball, strike three call, and that's out number one. Well, he just says, here it is, try and hit it. Three pitches, good night. <laughs> Wilkerson will get his first plate appearance in this one now. That's on the outside corner for a strike. 
called strike about chest high, and they've got him in the hole. It's 0 and 2. That'll keep him honest. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Three pitches and get back to the dugout. He kicks and delivers. Johnson is at the play, and he takes a called strike one. The 0-1 pitch is a curveball for strike two. Doctor, you're never going to find a pitch better to hit than that one. Get your head in the game, pal. And that's in there. Strike three call. Nothing doing here this happening. We'll go to the top of any number three. The Cubs lead eight to nothing. Now here's a swing and a fly ball. Everett drifts over and makes the catch one away. At the plate, Corey Patterson. This is swung on and hit in the air. Wilkerson has to back up a bit, but he makes the catch. Now batting, Michael Barrett. This one swung on and hit in the air. Misses one and one. The one one pitch on the way. Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. And this thing starts on the outer half but runs out of the zone. And that falls for a base hit. Pryor. Mark Pryor. The pitch. Ball one. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Everett gets there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Well, he covers a lot of ground out there, and he's able to range to his left and pull this one in near the line. No runs on a hit, and one man left out. Now we'll go to the bottom of the third. The Cubs are out in front. First pitch, here it comes. Curve over for a called strike. He looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Strike three called on the fastball. One away. Wow, no factor up there. Three pitches, and he's already making a U-turn for the dugout. That's weak. Schneider is ready to get his first look now. Slider in there for a called strike. And when guys are spotting their pitches out there, there ain't a whole lot you can do. The 0-1 pitch is a fastball for a called strike. Struck him out, and that's strikeout number eight thus far. Is he out already? He just stepped into the box. That's tired. Checked his swing, but it's in there. 0-1. Might have been looking off speed there, because that's a pitch he can handle. And that misses for a ball. A called strike over the heart of the plate. One and two. Got it. And that is the ninth strikeout of the game. The Cubs tank to the road racks, but are able to come through with what's got to be a very satisfying win. Well, it should be, because anytime you can go on the road and you beat a team as badly as they did, it can't help but lift your entire club. Corey Patterson certainly wasn't alone in having a terrific game of the plate, HUD, but out of uh, all those who did well, he's most deserving of our ESPN Video Games Player of the Game. Well, when you've got guys at the bottom of the order that can produce like this, your club's going to be in good shape. You know, when you get this kind of production out of the seventh spot, it can really take the pressure off your three, four, and five guys. So that just about wraps things up from here. For my partner, Rex Hutler, and our entire ESPN crew, this is John Miller saying thanks for being with us. Once again, the final score, the Cubs win it eight to nothing. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Au revoir from Montréal.